this massive bin of marijuana is worth about $300,000. That's just one of the 100 boxes of marijuana Canadian company CanTrust produces a month. CanTrust has been growing and selling marijuana for medical purposes since 2014, and an expansion is currently in the works to address the demand of the brand new recreational market. So we have 50 tons here that we can produce on an analyzed basis. We'd be closer to 100 tons through 2019. And then that too is just a drop in the bucket to the global demand. Before entering the greenhouse, we had to cover ourselves from head to toe. And even sanitize our shoes. All plants grown in the facility are actually clones of what is referred to as the mother plant. So this is a mother plant. We're taking stem cuttings and we're going to root these stem cuttings in order to have a genetic copy of the mother. One of the factors that makes a plant a good candidate for cloning is the amount of cannabinoids. So we need to have lots of cannabinoids, whether or not it's THC, CBD, or one of the rare ones. Uh, as long as there's around 20% of that, that's great. It takes about five weeks for a plant to be ready to flower. And then the flower cycle takes about two months. From there, the buds are harvested cleaned up, and placed on trays to dry for another week. Once they're dried and cleaned up, strains are mixed together so that packages can get a blend of different sizes. How much do you think everything in this room costs? We're at $6.8 million. Wow, this is $6.8 million right here. CanTrust sells products directly to the medical customer as capsules and oils, and sells buds in pre-rolled joints in the recreational marketplace. They produce about 18 types of streams with a variety of flavors and smells. High THC strains like Gold Kush, Royal Purple Kush, and Blueberry Kush are some of the most popular. It smells like orange, citrusy, with a little bit of strawberry or blueberry in it. Like it literally smells like fruit. So we try and make it approachable by using flavor we're talking about the Synergy brands. So that the customer who is maybe a little bit less experienced might say, well, I, I don't know cannabis, but I know blueberry. This one's called Blueberry Kush. I think I might try that with my blueberry chiffon tonight at my dinner party. Cantrust also exports products to other countries, like Australia and Denmark. Well, I think it's a great opportunity for Canada. You know, we've got now uh, the First Nation to allow for legalized exports and imports of cannabis. So we have a true market opportunity where you know, we're able to establish markets before others are, uh, specifically the United States. When you look at the opportunity there and the uh, entrepreneurial spirit that exists in the United States, I can't imagine it's going to be too long before there's massive pressure from business to say, hey, look, Canada's uh, getting away with everything here. How can we not participate in this marketplace? So I think the United States probably isn't as far away as maybe many people would think they are.